Hello and welcome to vlog number 69. Today I'm going to talk about a workshop that I attended this week in Chatham, Kent, called Parkinson's Regeneration Training, run by an American trainer called Carl Sterling. About a year ago I met Carl in London following a hospital appointment for a DBS adjustment. I arrived halfway through day one of a two day workshop, but saw enough to make me wish I'd been able to attend the whole thing. So, when I was contacted by Phil Bungay, who runs the Parkinson's UK Medway and District Working Age Group, asking if I would be interested in attending one of Carl's workshops in Chatham, it was somewhat of a complete no-brainer. We started early with the social gathering the night before the workshop, and my wife and I joined Carl and a dozen other attendees in the bar of his hotel, where I introduced him to the delights of Hobgoblin beer, and refreshed my own memory, of course. We didn't drink too much though, we were all mindful of the workshop the following morning. The Parkinson's Regeneration Training Workshop is designed for people with Parkinson's and also for trainers and care providers to help them to understand the condition and help those who have it. The programme starts with a fairly hefty lecture, mainly for the benefit of the trainers and care providers, which discusses what Parkinson's disease is, who gets it, symptoms, etc. Carl discusses strategies for avoiding falls, improving balance, stability and gait, strength, flexibility and grip, posture, mobility and movement, and improving cognitive function. After the lecture, it's time to put some of the strategies into practice, and pretty soon the whole class is getting involved in one way or another. Bend your left leg, right arm overhead, look to your right. This is a way of overcoming difficulties in turning over in bed, a common issue in people with Parkinson's. Right arm up overhead if you can, look to your left, left arm by left shoulder. Now, I want you to push with your left hand, take your left leg, swing it over your right leg. Three. This exercise shows the positive effect that a vestibular reset can have upon balance and gait. Down, that axle to the right. All the way to the right, same thing. One. Firstly, you'll see D walking prior to the exercise. Note the arm swing. Then, Carl takes D through the vestibular reset procedure. Keep looking at the floor. So you're looking left, roll onto your stomach. Okay, stay right there. Now I want you to look to the left and roll onto your right side and stay there. Right. I want you to look to your left up towards the ceiling, roll onto your back. And then the final step is look to your left and roll back onto your left side which was your starting position. All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> yeah. uh, left. Arms out. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. right. And lastly, you can see the vast and immediate improvement as Dee walks across the room afterwards. This is something that Carl had told me about before and I was really interested to see. I'll definitely be trying this out. This shows the effects of vibration upon my tremor. I'm holding a hypersphere vibrating ball that can be used to soothe, loosen or activate muscles. Particularly useful for relieving the discomfort of restless leg syndrome. Here you will see me using it to see if it can moderate my tremor, so I've turned my DBS off. I didn't notice any benefit, but those watching said they noticed an amazing reduction in tremor while I was holding the vibrating ball. Carl then demonstrated how balance and gait are improved by consciously swinging the arms and improving posture when we walk. The automatic arm swing is something that many people with Parkinson's lose early on in the progression of the disease.
Then we tried using these Smovy rings, and these were something that I'd heard a lot about and was keen to try. Smovy rings are of a spiral tube construction containing a number of steel balls which move within the spiral tube when exercising, thus creating vibration which, I'm told, is particularly beneficial for people with Parkinson's. Certainly, just the mere fact that you have these in your hands helps maintain some sort of rhythm. I got to meet Dee Oakley, someone who I was aware of through some of the Facebook groups that we both belong to. And she found that Smovy rings were so beneficial to her that she actually sells them. So, if you'd like to buy some of these, just contact Dee on her email, which is smovforhealthuk at outlook.com or visit her Facebook page, Smove for Health UK. Overall, I thoroughly enjoyed the workshop and took away a number of strategies that I know I can use or incorporate into my daily routine. Additionally, I managed to meet a few people and put faces to the names I knew, Phil Bungay, Dee Oakley and Paul Bradbury. So I'd just like to take this opportunity to say, Hi Dee, hi Paul and hi Phil, it was great to meet you and thanks for watching. As for Mr Sterling, I think you can see how much fun he was having. Always a pleasure to see you, Carl. If you'd like to find out more about the Parkinson's Regeneration Training Workshops, just pop along to www.parkinsonsregenerationtraining.com Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.